Good morning to everybody, in particular to General Secretary Zvenska, a close friend of mine. I regret not to be able to be with you in Venice due to my obligations at the European Parliament in Brussels as Chair of the Committee on Cultural Education. But on behalf of the European Parliament, I wish to congratulate Europa Nostra on taking this initiative to launch the seven most endangered programme. I also greet the involvement of the European Investment Bank Institute as funding partners of this programme. Europe's cultural heritage is a key resource for sustainable development in Europe. Many heritage sites are well protected and serve as a source of wealth, both material and immaterial for Europe's countries, cities and regions. But unfortunately, we, there are also many heritage sites in Europe which are endangered, also in Italy. If we wish to save those sites, we need to join forces at local, national and European level as you are doing. Why? Because cultural heritage counts for Europe, as it was demonstrated in a, an impressive may, way by the report produced last year by a consortium of six European partners, which was coordinated by Europa Nostra in a very interesting study. And we, if we want to measure the value and the impact of heritage on our, on our society, on our economy, in our environment, we must apply an holistic approach. The European Parliament fully supports this view and insists on the need for the European Union to develop an integrated strategy and policy with regard to cultural heritage, not only in Europe but also around Europe. We stated in our report on integrated approach to cultural heritage done by my colleague Diaconu and adopted in the last, on last September by the European Parliament. For all these reasons, we indeed need to raise wide awareness of the importance of the sites which are today in danger and also to mobilize this necessary support both political and financial both from public and from uh, private sources to save those sites as far as the venice lagoon is concerned i fully support the strong appeal launched by Europe, europa nostra and its president uh, the famous maestro placido domingo the Venice Lagoon is an, a unique but very fragile cultural landscape of Europe, which is vital from, for the survival of Venice. Unfortunately, today, the lagoon is uh, probably the most endangered site in Europe. It's uh, threatened both, both by forces of nature and also by acts of uh, humankind. What is urgent, needed, is to apply an holistic approach and to define a long-term vision and strategy for the safeguard of the lagoon with the Venice at its heart. We also need an adequate integrated governance with due involvement of the civil society, as uh, you know we have to improve more, uh, and communities concerned. But we also need urgently to set a path already in great part accomplished uh, but to be completed against the current unacceptable aggression of Venice and its lagoon by gigantic cruisers full of tourists, but not only for this reason. I strongly believe that the European Union should contribute to this process and I hope also the uh, European Investment Bank in support to the efforts undertaken by public and the private bodies in Italy. Together with the EU, with Europa Nostra, the European Parliament has expressed its strong support to the proposed uh, for a European Year of Cultural Heritage for 2018. The safeguard of Venice and its lagoon should definitely figure high on the agenda of this year. I hope so. Altogether, we must boost support for saving Europe's endangered heritage and this for the benefit of our society as a whole. But we cannot forget, as you know, because it's my very deep commitment since last year, the great mission that awaits Europe to support with its expertise and appropriate funding the restoration of the great architectural and civil and religious sites destroyed in the Mediterranean area and rebuilding sometimes, also launching this new cultural diplomacy strategy announced uh, by Vice President Mogherini 
and Commissioner Vracic. Uh, we are waiting for this and I imagine that in the next uh, for European Forum for Culture it will be announced. Thank you and uh, thank you for your participation and for your commitment.